Hi guys. guys! Welcome back, welcome back to our channel. I go by the name Ayo. And I'm Okwe. And together we are called Ayo Okwe. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes, yes. How have you been? Mm. How y'all been? How you doing? How y'all doing? How you doing? My angel, my one and only. Hey. Hey, the only joy that I'm missing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I love you. We don't know the words. I'm gonna say I do. Uh huh. And then I you the finest. Hey, uh, we're in the finest girl. Oh, I that was square. when music was music. Come on, I open. <laughs> no, they're just doing rubbish. That Anyways. to be here as yeah, you yeah. can see okay From the matchy matchy giving us the we're giving you the purple which is okay mm -hmm. favorite color but she will lie that it's not Baby, just so that she is. can throw it me is. off it is what no is it? no it's not oh jesus i meant to say it's not <laughs> i meant to say it's not i actually said Okay, anyway. anyway, 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 so purple is one of your favorite colors. Yeah, oh, I think so. purple is also Maya's color no, as well. Isn't purple it? Is... Maya's one of Maya's favorites, yeah. Anyway. So, um, but purple looks good on me if I do say so myself, you do. and it looks good on you, you obviously. Do. Okay, so today, welcome back, guys. If you're new to the channel, I am surprised you have not subscribed what you doing? to our channel. You can see how I'm flowing there. Okay, so please subscribe, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah, this channel will bless you. We are certified marriage and relationship coaches, mm -hmm. and this year we've been married for 10 years. Okay, 10 amazing years. And the 10 be, just hits different. And we're going to be rolling out our mm. 10 year anniversary, you know, yeah. surprise and surprise. 10 year anniversary stuff that we want to Wait, is it a surprise for them or you are surprising me as well? <laughs> I need to know. Dream on. <laughs> so, um, you know, 10 year anniversary and uh, yeah, we have some good things for you. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be rolling those out yes. very soon. Okay. But in the meantime, before then, obviously we have to continue to give you those nuggets. All yeah. right. So what are we doing today? Today we are talking about something very important. Anyway, mm. anything we come on here and say is always very it's always important. important. We don't yeah. chat rubbish. Yeah, man. So today we are talking about important questions to ask your intending mm. before you get married to ask your affessono Aff <laughs> you sound like auto lady <laughs> affessono me <laughs> anyway so your your fiance or fiance or the person you're engaged to mm. or to be married to mm -hmm, yeah certain questions that you need to ask them now there are plenty Mm -hmm. They're actually a lot, but we've narrowed it down to about seven. Seven. So we're going to give you like top seven questions, mm -hmm. right? Important questions that you need to ask. Yes. Very important. Before you get married, Before don't you. ask on day one of the marriage. Or one year after the marriage. One year after. Ask before you get married because yes. the quality of your questions mm, will determine the, the quality, quality of your relationship. Yeah. It will determine yeah. the quality of that marriage. All right. So we what, want you what, to what? ask good open-ended questions yeah so not questions of yes and no not questions of do you mm -hmm. like me yes do you love me yes do i tickle your fancy do you like jollof rice yes, yes. do you like plantain no <laughs> so those are good questions yeah but we need to go deeper ask mm -hmm. open-ended questions so you can go deep and right? with the asking of the questions i think what's key as well is you need to be ready to receive the answers mm, preach. not all answers will be what you want to hear absolutely but they will be very beneficial to mm -hmm. whether you want to go forward exactly whether you want to go forward and or, yeah go or on. how you want to compromise exactly to see how you can work together mm -hmm. because during the uh, during these conversations and this discussion, you then discover, you know, deal breakers. Yep. You know, you discover things that you can either continue with or yeah. not continue with. Yeah. And as you said, you can compromise. Okay. But yeah. the key thing here is that there is now a channel of communication Vision. to explore, mm. you know, the depths of the minds of each other. Mm. All right. Yeah. Yep, so yep. let us go again. We're going to try and keep it as quick and swift as possible. Okay. Yep, yep. So I think. 
a very important question, opening mm. question is, why me? Mm. Why, why me? me? Stop, stop. We are so geeky. <laughs> there people will be some people will be yimwin for us. <laughs> so uh, you didn't know that you were gonna say No that anyway. But that's, <laughs> just that's right bad there, for me then. That means our sense of humor is on the same level and I always pitched myself in the sense that I, I had a better sense it's of humor. It's because I've actually upgraded you, so that's why you know no, but both kind of of, of Oh no, no, we've okay. definitely been married for a long time. <laughs> God. So the question is why me, yeah? Why me? Like mm. Why do you love me? Mm. Like, what is it about me? Why me? Mm. And let them talk, please. Don't, don't go in and say, is it because? Mm. Is it because? Don't lead and direct them. Why me? Mm -hmm. Why some me? Pe some people might be swift and say, I just can't put my finger on it. <laughs> There's just nothing in particular about everything at all. <laughs> Don't let them give you lyrics, so why me? Why me? Specifics. And, and, you why know, me? <laughs> Ten marks. It is very important, right, to understand why you. Like, mm. okay, there's seven billion or I don't know how many billion people in the yes. world, right? You have chosen me. So why have you chosen me? What is it about me, right, that you saw? That you liked. That you liked so much that you believe this should be my life partner mm. right so in the process of answering that question or, or asking and answering that question you discover many things about why does this person even want to get married mm. in the first place is it because, because of your bum bum exactly is it because of papers hey, is it because of your money is it because of okay. your money because we've seen where and there was one that we saw you know that was very interesting which was i want to get married because um, you know, I'm I'm a pastor. I'm going to be a pastor. Yes, and I they need... said I must bring my wife. And this guy just wanted to quickly marry this to girl because aesthetic. You to... can... And that was not a good reason yes. for him to have chosen her at yes. the time. So you need to understand why is this man choosing me? Why is this girl choosing me? Because mm. the girl is also choosing the guy. Yes. So you as a woman, yes, yeah. you're making your choice. You're making your choices, all right? So it is important to understand why the me? why. Because if the why is wrong, mm, come on, then talk. the relationship is wrong. I thought you were going to say if the why is something, the Z is something. <laughs> it's not every time that you drop red marks. Oh, Sometimes okay. it's true, just normal. True. Sometimes just, it's just common sense, just all right? Common sense. But very important, so why me? Cool. all right? Uh -huh. Good. So the next question, again, in no particular order, guys, but mm -hmm. the next one we're giving to you is, how important is sex to you? Mm. Very important. Mm. How important? I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, there's people that it is on their wedding night that they realize that one person does not even want to have sex at mm. all. And this is an issue. All right. So how important is sex to you? Mm. Okay. How would you deal with sexual issues? Differences in our sex drive. Yes, yes. Differences in what we like and what we don't mm. like. Differences in can we have oral sex? What do you mm. think about oral sex? Mm. Okay, because mm. we have seen this as well. Where couple, one person likes oral sex or wants it or thinks that's something that they should mm. have and the other person feels it's a no-no. These are some conversations that you need to have. And the funny thing is, I feel like sometimes, as Christians especially, they don't want to talk about sex. Mm. They don't want to talk about mm -hmm. sex because they feel like that's opening the door to sexual temptation or mm. sexual... But you're going into it. You're not doing it. We're not saying go and practice having the sex. Mm -hmm. We're saying talk about it because sex is actually it. a big deal. Exactly. Married. And the thing is, people think that you're just going to go there and just do... That. No. It's not going to happen automatically. It doesn't. You're not just going to say, and everything just came and it just happened. You know, these are things that you would talk about mm -hmm. during the marriage. And obviously, it's a big thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you want to understand, okay, what happens if I'm not able to satisfy you? Exactly. What happens if I'm, I don't want it as much as you want it? Mm -hmm. Are you going to start masturbating? Mm -hmm. What do you think about pornography? Mm -hmm. And you know, there's been cases where this conversation is held and then one party says, ah, I think it's okay. Exactly. And the other party says, ah, it's not okay for me. And then one party says, ah, I might have to go outside if I'm not really getting it as much as I want it. Can you imagine? So these are conversations you need to have. Mm -hmm. All right so that you totally can actually agree. filter through because at that point it is still okay to say 
I don't think we are we align we align on this very important stuff. Mm -hmm. Again, we're talking about the very important things, okay? Mm. Right. So the next one is would you like to have children? Mm. And not just would you like to have children, how many? Mm. That's if they like to have if children. If they like to have children. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is one that comes sometimes shakes. Mm -hmm. Couples, because I think even us. What was our? What, what did we say we'd like to have in the? Beginning? No, we always talked about we'd like to have two or three, isn't it? Yes. I think we 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 were aligned on that, right? Yes, in time, yes, you know? yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So you know, but that was negotiable. That two or three. Remember, mm -hmm. we were like, it can be two or three. Or three. So when I wanted to have more, mm -hmm. I reminded you that <laughs> we said it could be. I reminded you. Oh. Oh, okay. When we had two, and yeah. you said one more. I yeah. said that. Yeah. Remember, we had agreed that we could go mm -hmm. up to three. Mm -hmm. There was that leeway for that mm -hmm. because we had discussed it. And you know, this is something that may cause a bit of friction in marriage Absolutely. because children are a big deal, mm -hmm. and some people actually don't want to have children. That's what I wanted to say. Some people don't want to have children, and because there was a story of a couple, the guy wanted children, mm -hmm. and this babe did not want children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. again not very popular mm -hmm. you know that a woman doesn't want children mm -hmm. but at that point in time she just wanted to focus on her career and many other mm -hmm. things and she says no kids for now yeah two years three years five years after the marriage anyways that marriage is dissolved now because mm -hmm. of this and many mm -hmm. other issues but this was one of the main issues mm -hmm. and even on my side baby i know someone mm -hmm. who the husband and wife agreed not to have children she wanted children, she got pregnant, and he said, well, I'm not helping you to look after them. Oh, wow. His own children. Wow. He provides the mm -hmm. money mm -hmm. and everything for them, but she stopped, she had to stop working mm -hmm. because he's not looking after them, all looking that. After. Yeah, because mm. they didn't agree that. She said, mm -hmm. he said they didn't agree that. Exactly. So when you talk about these things, you agree as a couple. Yes. Very important. Yes. Can two work together unless, they agree. unless you agree, except you be agreed, you know, mm. and that is, a reason whether you should proceed or not mm -hmm. at that time mm -hmm. and also start planning the future so yeah do you want children if so how, how many? many and also when that's true when do you want to have children that's true cause that's true because some people want to wait some people want to wait for some three years people some people want to have it immediately mm -hmm. wedding mm -hmm. night they some and people, you know some people they won't plan their wedding in such a in such a time where the woman knows that she's ovulating True. so that in nine months time they want to hear the cry of a baby right and meanwhile one guy or the or other person might think ah, no. i don't want it immediately i want to wait for like two or three years and the thing is there's no right or wrong with this waiting for children because people have asked me this question before mm -hmm. for us we wanted to wait a mm -hmm. little while yeah we wanted we to wait at least a year and uh, yeah just mm -hmm. so we can just you know because we know how, and I'm glad we waited. Yeah, because I'm we so, know absolutely. How tough it can get with children. Mm -hmm. They're a beautiful blessing, mm -hmm. but they change the dynamics. And we wanted yeah. that. We wanted that, exactly. But we also know people who have had babies straight away, and it's absolutely fine for and them. And it works for them. A lot of things play into it. Your age. You might not have mm -hmm. the time to wait. <laughs> yeah, very true. You might very not true. have the time to wait. Mm -hmm. So, you mm -hmm. know. Whatever you do, just discuss it. Just discuss it. I mean, we always advise that if you can wait a couple months, again, just so that you can live together because you've never lived together as a couple mm. and all that. But anyway, so uh, as you said, sometimes it works whether you wait or don't mm. wait. But you guys need to decide and agree together. Yeah. And another very important thing is, at this point, you also discuss things like, what if, you know, there's any infertility mm. issues? Very important. And you know like, a lot of us dodge this because we say God forbid. Thank you. We say God, and again, that's why I always say, let us be human, all right? And let us, you know, think mm. with the brain that God has given us. Mm. These are things that we need to discuss because guess what, right? We've now seen situations where because of infertility issues, one person decides to go and have children with someone else. Mm. So what are you going to do if we have infertility issues? Are you open to adoption? What do you think surrogacy. about surrogacy? IVF, yeah. IVF, because some people don't want any of these options. Mm -hmm. So you need to discuss it at the time, otherwise mm -hmm. you'll be frustrated. frustrated yeah. So many marriages where they are frustrated because the children did not come when they wanted the children to come. Mm -hmm. All right, and we can so empathize with that. 
but it is important that you talk about it yeah so that you can deal with it exactly should that be the case so another question you want to ask is what are your thoughts mm. on roles and responsibilities mm, mm, okay mm. this one is the table shaking question this one is the table shake. Right. even who shakes the table <laughs> that's the role and responsibility but you have to have this conversation okay because <sighs> not everybody is on the same page when it comes to roles and responsibilities now i'm talking about you know headship mm -hmm. leadership mm -hmm. of the family leadership mm -hmm. of the house leadership in the marriage submission mm -hmm. all of these things roles and responsibilities what are your thoughts start talking about it and down to the granular like yeah even in the house like house chores house chores yeah that yeah. kind of thing because i think that one and this the, the reason why I say you have to go down to the granular because we are all brought up in different ways. Mm -hmm. How you saw your mom and dad is different mm -hmm. to how I saw how my mom and dad. Yeah. Where you grew up in Nigeria is different to where I grew mm -hmm. up here. All of that feeds into roles and responsibilities. Roles. Mm -hmm. roles and responsibilities. Very important. So you talk about it like, okay, because some people believe, ah, I'm a woman, there's certain things I should mm -hmm. not do. Mm -hmm. And the man thinks, oh, I'm the head of this family, mm -hmm. or I'm the head of the wife. So there's something, some things that I would never do, mm -hmm. and some things that I should never be involved in, and all of that. So, you know, understand even, what are you going to be doing? Okay, I'm going to provide. Oh, I'm going to do this one. What is? Yeah. What are your roles and responsibilities, yeah. right? And understand and align on that. And you know, Very sometimes important. we have some subconscious ones as well. Because I just thought, as you said this now, I just thought of the fact that, you know, every time I'm always, I tie the bin and I just leave it. No, no, the average, <laughs> no, because... the average wife expects that but where... the man takes the trash out. But where did that come from? I don't know. Baby, when you're not <laughs> at home and you've gone to work, I tie the bin, I leave it there. <laughs> and then I'll meet the bin you either outside the... yeah. or right in the middle of the kitchen, even though it's smelly. About... Even smelly that's what i'm I saying i would meet the bin outside and ready for me somehow that's just one of those things that we just agreed that you know i would be doing but it's not like you've not done it many times yeah that's what i'm saying but it's just some things that that's what i'm saying things that are fed into your subconscious things mm -hmm. that as you have grown up things that things as you've grown that, up exactly you know even sometimes things that society has told us mm -hmm. so you need to even be careful of that because your man might say oh i can never wash a plate mm-hmm your man actually might say, I can never wash and, a plate. And if that is a deal breaker for you, that is something that you need to iron out and know whether, can I actually live with this man? Mm, because but that's why we said there's compromise. So in that kind of situation, if, that's not, if that is a deal breaker, how about your man make sure that you always have a dishwasher in the house? Exactly. Do you get so what I mean? It's, it's little things like this, even just having a conversation about, mm. are you open to divide and conquer? Yes. Dividing and conquer, which, which means whatever needs to be done, we work as a team and just get it done mm -hmm. rather than it's your job so i'm not going to even interfere or yeah. try to do it right or is it a case of if i feel like you're not available i can actually step in for you yeah you know so again i always say that marriage is 100 100 so both of us yeah. will bring our 100 and help each other out to actually make sure that things are being done so it's yeah. not a case of Oh, you're the provider, so I'm never gonna provide but anything ever, yeah. or touch anything. And it's happened. You have you know? this, yeah, obviously. So the guy's lost his job, and the woman's like, "I can't." I'm not, and the bro, I'm not your bro. <laughs> I don't tell you. I don't tell you many times. I'm not your bro. <laughs> so it's <laughs> so no. That one is really really key because we've seen a very close uh, case where the woman says, "I cannot." Not, the yeah. man had to borrow money to pay the rent of the exactly. house. The wife was working, the wife had the money, but she says, it is not my responsibility to pay the house mm -hmm. rent. Okay, now maybe that's what they agreed. In this case, that's not what they agreed because it was a really, very, yeah. it was a really sad situation. Okay, but these are conversations that you have. That you need to have. What if I lose my job? Mm -hmm. What will happen? Discuss it. Discuss, Discuss it. your roles and responsibilities before yes. marriage because right? we can say god forbid but god didn't say that we wouldn't have storms of course we wouldn't have tests and trials mm -hmm. so these things are a part of life mm -hmm. how we overcome it how we overcome them is the key key very important the next key question mm -hmm. is how would we manage our money mm. in the sense that are we having a joint account mm -hmm. Are we, you pay for one bill, I pay for one bill. Mm -hmm. Is it 70-30? Mm -hmm. Is it 50-50? Where does money for this come out from? Mm -hmm. Who does this? Etc. Mm -hmm. Etc. Money is a big 
deal mm -hmm. in marriage. Please don't let anyone convince you otherwise. Very and important. that one, I think money is one of the ones you actually do need to explicitly, mm -hmm. explicitly, there should be no, well, we didn't discuss that. We can kind of hash it out later. Yeah. Explicitly You need to discuss. discuss it because it is one of the very top reasons mm. for divorce. You need to discuss. Are we saving our money together or mm. are we saving it with Hakimi's mom? Hakimi's mom. <laughs> I'm done. Are we saving together or it's we are saving with Hakimi's mom? Like. Mm. Very important. You know, how are we doing our financial planning? Mm -hmm. What are our financial goals? What do you think? How do we put. You need to Can discuss we splurge? it. Are we splurging in some areas? Are we saving in some Because remember we said in every relationship, there's always a spender and there's always a saver. Most times, right? There's mm -hmm. always, because if two savers come together, you guys will not really enjoy your life at all. That's true. You know, <laughs> but in our case, you know, she's the spender, I'm the saver. You can, and when we work together, everybody's happy. Everyone is happy. You know? But we have to talk about this and of talk course. about this and talk about this to a point where we're both now happy with the decisions around how we manage our finances mm. all right and so the thing is talk with, about your finances and yeah. the thing is with money sorry baby to cut you is that we've got a video on this as well there's so there's no one way one size fits there's all. no one size fits all there's mm. so many ways that you can manage money together mm -hmm. that will benefit you guys mm -hmm. we have our own way other people have a different way yeah so there's no one way but the principle is togetherness you don't have to have a joint account, but, it's, it's but you are managing your money together. together. That is very important. So nobody's saying that you must have a bank account, but, but we must have be aware Mr. of... Mr. and Mrs. Exactly. It doesn't necessarily have to be. But we must be aware of our assets and exactly. our debts. Exactly. Very important. And we must have a plan of how we want to save yes. or get rid of our debts together so yes. togetherness is, is key. key that is the principle when it comes to managing mm, money mm, in mm. marriage so ladies and gentlemen the next question you want to ask before you get married mm. is how do you want to be loved mm. how do you like to be loved how do you want me to show you love. love okay this point is you're trying to understand their love language mm. because a man might say the way I want you to love me is just Cook for make me. me food. Give me your jollof rice. Mm. Give me my eggs. Give me this before I go to work. Just give me my... Do you understand? Like, the way I want to be loved is just, you know, cook for me. I don't know how to cook and I really love when my woman cooks for me. Hmm. The woman on the other hand might say, the way I want to be loved is that you take me out every Friday. I don't like I have my I don't want us to stop our Friday mm, evening date mm, night. Mm, That's mm, how I like mm. to be loved. Because what happens is you go into marriage and every you, you're just lost in you're the just marriage. Lost, yeah. You know, everybody thinks this is what I assume this person wants. You'd assume that this is how your spouse wants you to love them, mm. but then you're doing it wrong, and then the spouse doesn't want to reject you or make you feel bad. Yeah. So they continue to accept what you do. But in their mind, they feel like this person is not really showing me love. Mm. So it is important to have this conversation before you go into the marriage. And the thing is with this one, two things about this one is that one, you need to listen to what they say, but you mm. also need to observe them as well. Because mm. whilst you could be saying, I'm, I love you to cook for me, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. And, you know, as a wife, you'll be cooking, cooking, and you're thinking, ah. But it doesn't look like my husband is happy with this. What he might actually be saying is, I love acts of service. Mm, mm. So it's not just cooking. It's not just cooking. So, so it's maybe doing upset. my laundry for me. Exactly. It's running on some errands for me. Exactly. Answering my phone for me. You know, that oh, kind no, of That one has turned to pee. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you but know, you get the gist. Yeah. And then the second thing I want us to recognize is whilst we have asked them beforehand, remember that this 
keeps changing it's fluid mm. so you know when you said about friday mm. date night mm. that was me isn't it mm. friday date night was me before mm. we had children mm. now friday's like baby i need you to take michaela to piano mm. and do this friday is not date night anymore i need you to do the acts of service mm -hmm. because that is what that's how i want you to love me mm -hmm. do you know what i mean very important so we need to realize that our partners are not they're not um rigid mm -hmm. they're not rigid so you have these conversations but then again that's why one thing we're very big on is evaluation exactly. okay so when you get married continue to ask these questions yeah. continue to evaluate to check where what, you what, are what? against your benchmarks and against the previous conversations that you had all what, right what, so what? how can i love, love you? you and finally the last finally i did a thing in... oh my thing finally mm. oh it's about to go no, no, down no, it's not sweet now finally the last but not the least the last but not the least mm -hmm. question that you should be asking is where do you see us in 5 10 20 30 as you see fit 50 years where do you see us now this question looks at vision hmm goals mm. are we aligned in purpose mm -hmm. and this one throws people off mm. if, if if he or she doesn't know mm -hmm. i would say I, w I wouldn't say it's a red flag <laughs> yeah. but i'll say you guys need to talk more you need to talk more definitely need to talk more because again if i'm planning a very long future with mm. you right at every given given point in time i have my vision for my family mm. so i have my where i see us in five years where i see us in 10 years right is it a case of ah I'm not sure where we're going to be. Mm. Have you actually, do you have a vision for your children? Mm. Do you have a vision for your children's school? Yeah. Do you understand? Oh, do you have a vision for your children's marriage even? Where are you going to live? Where you're going to live? Because some people, they just discover that all of a sudden they are relocating. Mm. But if I have told you that in 10 years, yes. I see us in Canada. That's true. Actually. Then it shouldn't be a shocker because when close to 10 years time or five years time, we're now trying to relocate to Canada. So Do you understand? Canada. But meanwhile, if you have all your own plans in whatever country you live in, and then this person is planning to relocate and you feel like I, yeah. I, I'm not really trying to relocate. Yeah. And some people have decided, you know what? Yeah. Um, I don't want to live in this country that you want to live in. So mm. I don't think we can get married. Purpose. Very aligning. important. Yeah. Your purpose needs to align. So some people believe like, ah, I'm going on, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, evangelism. Uh, mission. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going, and we've seen this one. Yes, where true. the guy is like, ah, I see myself on the mission field. Ah. And the girl says, ah, sorry, I'm not called to be the wife of a missionary. <laughs> I cannot be on the mission no because yeah, the guy yeah. said ah maybe I'll be in this country or be in that country yeah. and the woman said ah it's not me it's not me oh it's not me it's and not you me. And she, the guy said I'll just go and pray now she said she went mm. to pray after the prayer she still said she's not seeing anything no and because it's good that she saw this before man very day. important so that question very important it helps you cast the vision helps you make yeah. to make sure that your purpose is aligned okay and to so make sure that agree. you're in need for the long term yes so some people agree. what do I see I don't even know maybe we might be divorced that's what they are thinking that's what they are seeing True. because they don't really have a long-term picture of for marriage the future would of be. what that future should yeah. be so very important ladies and gentlemen i hope we have been able to help you okay mm -hmm. these are seven very important questions that we asked each other we yes. talked about before we got married and we just shared with you there's more mm. where that came from okay? let us know what questions so, as well yeah absolutely let us know what questions you think are important ones are important that you know okay. you need to ask your spouse mm -hmm. your spouse to be intended person this could also help someone else so. absolutely okay so put it down in the comments there um if you need coaching if you need someone to talk to write to us coaching at iogbedavis.com visit our website as well for resources that will help you that will bless you that's yep. iogbedavis dot com mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen if you're new to the channel and you have subscribed we do have a new commerce mm -hmm. new subscriber song only if you subscribe that we have written a while ago and i'm even thinking that maybe we should remix it okay so my remix is very on the remix which <laughs> so we might be remixing it okay but for now we're gonna sing the song to welcome our new subscribers yep. five six seven we're glad you came we welcome, welcome you, you. 
We hope you learn a thing or two As you join us on this journey through You say marriage faith life We are glad you We're came, glad you came. We, we welcome you We hope you yeah. learn a thing or two As you join us yeah, yeah. on this journey through mm -hmm. Marriage faith life A marriage faith life Marriage, faith, and life say Marriage, faith, and life say Marriage, faith, and life God bless you guys, we love you But God loves you yes. more We shall see you in, in the, the next, next video. video Bye, Bye.